Well, you can see where I've got the tiles on the bottom here lined up and a line drawn for the second gore line which separates the second gore area from this one and it goes up to about here now that's about as far as I go okay because if I were to run this line as you see here like this the entire length of the hull and then cut it it would take me a couple of days to get all that tile down and over that couple of days the adhesive on the back of this tape reacts chemically with the primer there's something in a primer paint some chemical that somehow reacts with this so that when you cut and you try to peel this paint this tape off right here it you wait a couple days you have to scrape it off it will not peel off so while it's fresh i lay it laid down i'll take and cut a line with a nice sharp knife all the way just like this okay you make sure that that your exacto knife blade is really sharp Okay, because you want a nice clean line. All right, now this is kind of hard to do, holding this and trying to make this cut at the same time. So it seems to be going right here. But I'm going to stop it here and peel it off right at this point. And now, that copper tape below the bottom of that line where I cut has been peeled off. You can see pretty good where that goes. And here, like up here, we'll start another full row of tiles. And you can see where the pattern will start, how the pattern looks. Once this, I'll put another line of tiles on here come back with some more video and show that. Well here I have almost the entire backside, all the gore lines, all the patterns done. Now in order to put two full belts at the top of which you see here is the first belt on the bottom line in this video is the water line of the ship and the blue line indicates where the bottom of that tile will go so there'll be another full belt of tiles above the water line and again i know there's a little saying that goes with why the two belts are complete and why you don't just bring it down like you see here all the way to that line and then just cut it so that you will so that when you look at the top you see little tiny tiny pieces little diamonds or triangles right like there would be a tiny wedge right there for instance and um evidently that's not a good idea because the seas will just virtually rip that little piece off. And so the idea is for full two belts on is to help keep these plates up here in place. So this belt and this belt keep all that in place. Well, that's my supposition. And I'm willing to listen to any other people that have a different idea why that's done and now here you see give you some idea i guess of how the two full belts will look on here now i'll probably mention it now and, and, and other times during the course of doing this but when it's all done 
and wipe down the copper with acetone. It'll take off the remnants of the marker here. It will also take off your fingerprint oils because as you go around and if you touch this here and there to hold it steady or to brace yourself while you're laying in a tile, the oils on that will form in the patina. You'll see your fingerprints on the, the uh, copper once it starts to develop that patina. Now that patina can be taken off with some light steel wool polishing, but um, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, it has to be pretty, pretty light and you risk tearing back the corners of the tiles as you do that. Unless you simply go in one direction, you would have to wipe it in this direction like this so you don't pick up any edges of the copper tape as you wipe. So again, wipe the whole thing down with acetone when you're finished.